Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and we got to calculate the radius of the circle. We're given some key information first. A, B, C, D is a square. Important. Whose diagonal B, D is equal to 4 square root of 2? M is the midpoint of, excuse me, line segment A, B. What we want to do again is find the radius of the circle. Now, a few clues here. Let's go fill in what we know. Since A, B, C, D is a square, we know we got some right angles going on here. All right, not too bad. We can do that. Now, they say A, B has midpoint M, meaning these two lengths are going to be congruent. So you can find the overall length of A, B. We can break that in half. Now, let's go look at this diagonal. D, B, B, D. 4 square root of 2. Okay, that's our hypotenuse if we see a right triangle. Triangle, uh, let's call it DCB. DCB is a special right triangle. It's actually a 45, 45, 90. How do I know that? We got a right angle right here, and these two side lengths are the same because we got a square right there, meaning these two sides are going to square, uh, same, same side length. We know that it's going to cut it right here in half, and each one of these will be 45 degrees. So this triangle has the form of a 1, 1 square root of 2 form, Meaning, we can extrapolate that with our hypotenuse of 4 square root 2. We can figure out what the length of, well, every side length, that's going to be 4 here. Now, we also could have done that with Pythagorean theorem if you wanted to as well, but I just did it like that. All right. Now, with that, that means length AM is going to be a 2, and this length here is a 2. Because remember, M splits line segment AB in half. All this goody goody information. Now, let's go draw a radius here from the center of the circle down to M, and let's keep going up as well. So, if I can draw this here, we got a radius, let's call that here, down to M, all the way up to the top. All right, let's call that R here. And what do we know? If a radius is tangent to the circle at that point here, that line, tangent to the circle, it's going to be a right angle. Got that. Same thing here. We're going up, we got a radius of R from that circle point right there. Again, if it's perpendicular here at the base, it must be perpendicular up here. All right, now here comes the tricky part. What is the length here of this to this? What did I label those points? Did I label it? I called it F and E. So we have, let's call this point here F and this point here E. What is the length of F E? How can we find that? Well, we have the overall length of the whole circle, which is going to be 2R, right? R being the radius, 2R minus the length of the square to that point here, right? F to M, which is going to be 4, right there. So FE has a length of a 2R minus a 4. All right, now this is the tricky part. Here's called the intersecting chords theorem. We draw a circle here. Let's get a little image of it. We have two chords that intersect. Let's call the side length AB and CD. They tell us if we have two intersecting chords, what we can write here is A times B is equal to C times D, intersecting chords theorem. How does it apply here? Well, I have one chord going on. I can see this big line AM, and we're intersecting with DC, but what are these lengths? Same here, 2, 2. So if I rewrite this to be AB equals ACD, multiply it out, A and B I would call 2 times 2. And CD, we have 2R minus 4 times D, this length here, D, which is the length from F to M, which is a 4. From there, we want to, well, solve for R. That's what we're looking for. We got 4 here equals 2R minus, oh, God. <laughs> multiply that out here. Almost forgot to distribute. Sean, don't forget to distribute. Don't forget to distribute. Here, actually, I'm not going to. You guys ready? Watch this. 4. We have times 4 here. Let's go divide both sides by 4. Why would I do that? Don't distribute. Divide. 1 equals 2R minus a 4. Add a 4 to both sides. We get a 5 equals a 2R. Divide 2 to both sides. And what we got here is R is equal to a 5. I almost said 2 fifths. 5 halves. And there we got it. After all of that, uh, yeah, divide by 2 just so you can see the steps there. After all that, we got a radius of 5 halves. Now, was that so hard? You had to learn a little bit about the intersecting chords theorem. That's kind of the trick there at the end. Either way, you got an answer. It is a 5 halves as a radius. Did you get that answer? Did you enjoy this video? 
Let me know down in the comment section below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these fun math videos for you and for everyone else. So, as always here, thanks for watching.